CloudGuard Container Protection includes an image assurance module. A checkpoint agent continuously scans the container images running in the Kubernetes cluster for vulnerabilities. Image Assurance checks package managers' dependencies and OS-level packages for known vulnerabilities. Files within the container will also be scanned for potential malware using ThreatCloud API to check the file's reputation. Other checks performed by this module include finding exposed credentials or sensitive content, as well as checking included IPs or URLs within the container files that are categorized as malicious. Within the CloudGuard portal, the first thing we can do is navigate to the Assets section and select our Kubernetes cluster. In the Threat and Security Events tab, there are all the alerts associated with this specific environment. Looking at the Source column, we see that these alerts are reported by scanning the Kubernetes image. If we want to see the alerts associated to specific container images, click on the Protected Assets tab, and this will list all the assets detected by the CloudGuard agent. Let's filter the list to show just the container images. And if we click on one of them, it will take us to the asset view for that container image. From there, a summary of the vulnerabilities found in that container image, as well as some basic information that can help us identify the asset. In the Threat and Security Events tab, we see all findings associated with the Image Assurance module. Another way to look into the alerts generated by any of the container security modules is to do it through the Events section. This is quite helpful when working with multiple clusters or environments. Click on the Events tab and All. By default, the events from the last 24 hours will appear here, but we can expand this time range to cover all the history of events. We apply a filter to narrow just the events associated to one cluster and the alerts that are generated by Image Assurance module. I can also type in the navigation bar a name of a container image. You can see that this container has a comprehensive list of vulnerabilities. Let's filter those that are critical. If we dive into one of them, we'll see more details. CloudGuard Image Assurance will also report a remediation suggestion whenever there's one available. This usually involves upgrading the software version from the vulnerable dependency. Other options that we can take advantage of with CloudGuard is to assign the vulnerability to one of our team members to make sure there's a correction plan in action, as well as adding comments to enable collaboration by teams. Finally, we may want to decide that a vulnerability shouldn't generate an alert, and we can acknowledge the alert in CloudGuard. CloudGuard's Container Image Assurance will ensure that your clusters are vulnerability-free.